And these are all AI voices and are strictly for entertainment purposes. If you think I'm playing a video game to push political views of my own, then I really need to reevaluate my life. Now, viewer discretion is advised. Thank you for watching and uh... George W is back. About fucking time we play a good sport. Oh, are we playing football again? Nope. The people have spoken and we are finally back with some more PGA. So with that said, I'm sure you're all aware of who was back then. Hunter? Uh, no, it's George. Howdy, fellas. Hey, Sporge. How have you been? Oh, I can't complain. My Texas Rangers are in the playoffs. Uh, you know, the ones I used to own. The whole 2% you owned. And with George back, that also means... Everyone's favorite commentator is back. Yay. So let's go ahead and get right on. Are we on. gonna ignore the fact that now George is cheating in this series? Me? Cheating. Don't recall wanting a recount to be considered cheating. Not talking about your fucking election, George. I'm talking about your fucked up scorecard in the last episode. Oh, that was my bad. I messed up the numbers for him on the first hole. Think he should have finished with plus one, but got even par on the scoreboard. But I still won anyway. So, yeah. Yeah, why are you even complaining about it? It's not like he would have won either way. Because I will- Because was... Donald always needs something to bitch about. Yeah, all right, Joe, grown-ups are talking right now. Anyway, I will not tolerate any more cheating in the greatest sport known to man. So, George, don't cheat. I will give you a pass this once. My man, I didn't- And Barry, get this shit right the first fucking time and pay attention. How does this course look? Looks kind of nice. All I see is trees and grass, a little bit of water, too. Um... Isn't that literally every golf course, though? Uh, no, Ben. Every course has its own respectable features. They aren't just all the same. Oh, it's in Brooklyn. I didn't know that was in Massachusetts. I always thought it was in New York. That says Brookline, you dipshit. Tomato, tomato. So is this a yay or nay? Yay. Not your call, Ben. Let's take a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 And those against? I ain't a fan, in all honesty, strictly because of all the- Hey, fuck you, George. All right, going back to the vote. I count as 100% of the total vote, so I will pick that we- Whoa, whoa, 100%? What the hell? Yeah, that sounds like a bunch of malarkey. All right, I vote yes, which means we will play there. Okay, well, three of us said yes, so your vote didn't really matter, even if you said no. What about my vote? Did you tally mine? What holes did you pick, Barry? Uh, shit, what holes did I- Oh, six, eight, and a 17. Okay. Is that all right? Is that enough to satisfy you, Donald? Uh-huh. Believe it or not, I'm pretty easy to satisfy. Yeah. Got something to say there, shipbird? Just a, a pretty ironic statement, that's all. All righty, boys and girls, it's time for yet another presidential tourney where your favorite Democrats and Republicans take on each other for the- And I really need you to, to just shut the fuck up, just for five minutes. But he's the comet later. Shush! Fuck's sake, quiet on the green. Not one person. Save it, Donald. Not one person said a fucking thing. So don't be trying to use any kind of excuse as to why you buried that thing in the sand like it was Redbeard's fucking treasure. Someone say treasure. Ouch, far right. Not the best second swing from Barry as that'll put him in a bit ben, of a- Ben, it has not been five minutes. Might as well use a driver for how far back you are, Barry. Driver, I hardly know her. Ha <laughs> ha. Ouch. Hey, you're about halfway there from where you putt from, Barry. That's something to celebrate. Yay, good job, Barry. Oh, come on. Oh my God, this is embarrassing. Barry could sure use some help here from the golf gods. Not even the golf gods would want to interfere with this historic performance on the first hole. I don't know if I mentioned this, but uh, this is just a practice round. Get the fuck out of here. Practice round my ass. This is news to me. Practice? We talking about practice? Good Lord, relax. I was kidding, geez. Pee pee poo poo, pee pee poo poo, pee pee poo poo. Joe, would you shut the fuck up? Pee pee. Poo poo, now watch this drive. More like watch this shank. Hey, looks like you're up to par with Barry, which would actually be over par. That actually may have somehow been worse than my shot. I'd greatly appreciate it if the ball would stop rolling. 55 feet away. That's a big oof, Georgie. Luckily, I'm a much better putter than Barry. Well, let's see it then. Got it up the hill. Barry couldn't do that. It's not a birdie, but I will take the par. Oh, yeah? Uh, must be a tiny hill or something there. Oh, yeah. That's probably it. 
Well, at least I'm not losing. Yet. Wait until it's my turn. Assuming you don't throw a hissy fit this time around. Hey, Barry, think I could maybe get a turn on one of these holes? Uh, no. Oh, come on, Donald. Actually, I'll tell you what, if Joe keeps this ball on the fairway, I'll let you take my turn. Whoa, for real? The fairway? <laughs> All right, then. Hey, Joe. Yeah! Shh, Jesus, Joe, I'll give you five bucks if you intentionally shank this. Three. Huh? I want three dollars. But that's... Okay, three dollars. Oh, wow, what the hell happened there? Well, tough luck there, little Benjamin. But you bribed Joe! He can't accept a bribe, I can get him impeached for that. Ben, buddy, I've been there twice. If they failed to kick my ass out, Joe sure as shit ain't going anywhere. He ain't wrong, unfortunately. Especially over a whopping three dollars. I hit it in the sand. Can I get another three dollars? You guys are always assholes to me. What have I ever done to any of you? Whoa, I'm always nice to you, Ben. For whatever reason. Yeah, so am I, little Benjamin. And then you guys call me that, and I've told you numerous times to stop calling me little fucking Benjamin. He said little Benjamin, though. There was no profanity in there. Damn it, George. Stop being a smartass. And then you guys constantly belittle me with all the- All right, Ben, there's no need to turn this into a fucking pity party. Quit bitching and man the hell up. Guys, I'm really struggling here. Well, but at least you can just tap it in from there. Oh, never mind. Oh, what? I don't even get to tap it in? Nope, because you're trash. Let me show you losers how it's done. Bunch of fucking amateurs, watch this shit. Am I supposed to be impressed by that? It actually wasn't a bad shot. He managed to avoid the hill and keep it on the flat part of the green. Wow, actual analysis from Ben? About time, bud. But he's still almost 40 feet from the hole. Not after this putt. Far left. Keep talking trash, that's fine. Do what you gotta do to boost your already piss poor self-confidences. And I believe that's par, boys. All right, all right, well played. Glad a par three made all of us look like shit. Not me, I have six points. That's more than all of you combined. I, uh, I don't think that math adds up. Should be interesting to see how we fare with a par five. You know, since we did so well with the not so easy par three. Uh, no, you guys dropped a huge deuce on the incredibly easy par three. I, however, aced it. I think we're all a bit rusty. It's been a bit since we've played this. Especially Ben. Fuck you, Joe. I will get you impeached for that bribe. All righty, here we go. What the? The fuck is happening? You enable power-ups or some dumb shit? He's mutating! I think it may end up being a hole-in-one. I don't know what the hell is happening. Well, that was as disappointing as our, our last Republican president. Ha! Huh. Okay, dickhead, I'll just let that one slide because there is a lot I could say. So say it. I'm good. Come on, mister, I'm the greatest president of all time. Don't play modest now. I've already said my stance in a previous episode. I, did, I don't like repeating myself. Really, because you say the same shit all the time. Calling people the same names over and over again. Give the same reasons as to why you're better than anyone else. Uh, yada, yada, yada. All I'll say is that uh, that hyped up tee off led to quite the disappointing performance. Yeah, you really need to work on your names for people. Ah, oh, does Sleepy Joe not like his accurate nickname? Fucking hell. Actually, I think the Sleepy Joe is the only good one you have. Fakest news I've ever heard? You're just mad I call your brother Low Energy Jeb. But it, it, it just, I don't know, it needs to like rhyme or something, you know? Barry with yet another disappointing performance on back-to-back -back holes as this puts him. Little Benjamin, we're having a very important debate here. My nicknames are just one of the many things that make me the very stable genius I am. Then you call yourself that which just comes to show how accurate your nicknames really are. This is gonna be one painful souvenir, I think. Ooh. Ouch. You definitely just fucking concussed a poor spectator down there. Eh, uh, they'll walk it off. So you guys don't like crazy Nancy? Uh, I'd give it a six. Actually seven, no wait, 6.5. Wait, are we rating on accuracy or just the name in general? Good Lord, what are we doing? Not so hot, that's for sure. Shitty shot from W. I mean, I, I was just rating it based on the flow of it, you feel me? Like, I feel like the verb needs to rhyme with the name. The adjective. Huh? It's not a verb, it's an adjective. Uh -huh. All right, sorry, professor. Fuck's sake, Ben. 
We're just trying to play some damn golf. And once again, you got to make it all about you and turn this shit into an English lecture. Yep, messed up my last two shots because of you. You're right, all my fault. Per usual. You're not going to putt this? No need. Wow, impressive. Uh, Would have been better if Professor Shit Piro wasn't such an asshole. Yep, shame on me for trying to correct others to help them out. How the hell does this dumbass kill a spectator, then hit a tree branch, then the sand, then fail to put it on the green and still get fucking par? Skill, something you lack. I don't lack anything, Joe. And if I did, which is impossible, it sure as hell wouldn't be skill. I don't know. This is episode four. And uh, have you even won a single match? I'd expect a lot more from someone who spent more time on the course than in the Oval Office. Okay, that is massive cap. It was at least 50-50. Joe is looking good here. Shot at an eagle. What? I didn't shoot at an eagle. An eagle is two under par, Joe. Way to use your head, slow Joe. They, like, I'd give that name a nine. The verb or adjective, whatever the hell it is, rhymes with the name. If Joe gets a birdie here, I'm gonna be real pissed. Fucking horseshit. Give me the damn controller. Looks like slumped Trump is very upset. Oh, yeah, see, that's a good one. 10 out of 10. Problem is, I'm not slumping. Last time I checked, I'm winning. Not in the polls, you ain't. Actually, I think he's starting to catch up with you, Joe. May even be favored in some polls. Uh, whatever. Fuck politics. Joe, I know how you can beat Donald. The fuck you helping him out for? We're the same damn party. I thought you were a Democrat. No? He used to be. Traitor. You're the fucking traitor, Joe. Trader Joe's the grocery store? What the fuck? What the hell is this course? Why does every hole have to have a fucking slope steeper than Joe's plummeting approval rating? It's all right, Donald. It's only uphill from here. Because after being indicted, arrested, losing to Joe, and already being at the bottom of the hill on this course, I don't think you can go any further down. I don't know. Donald always seems to find a way. A way to go downhill? A way to come out on top like I always do. I don't fucking understand how this fucking putt mechanic works. If you stop the power at the line, it doesn't even reach the damn hole. Well, at least you got yourself par. Whatever. Pee pee poo poo, pee pee poo poo, pee pee. Joe! It's the home stretch, last hole of the match for the presidents. Isn't this over? Didn't I already win? I mean, Joe and I would need an absolute miracle to win this thing. You and George are close, though. You hear that, Tan Man? It's a closer race than you thought. He's actually the orange man, not Tan. Yeah, that's insulting to people who work hard on their tans. I work incredibly hard on my spray tan, thank you very much. Whatever you say, Dorito Donald. Ah, that's the best one yet. Best one yet? You were just bitching about how it needs to rhyme. There's no rhyme in there. Whoa, fella, I don't make the rules. You just make criteria you fail to follow. Welcome to politics. Uh, Barry, I'm surprised you allow us to get so political in these. I remember you used to get mad at us when we first started making these videos. I wouldn't say I allow the political discussions. I actually came up with this series as an escape from all of the tension we deal with on the daily. However, you all clearly can't sweep any conflict you have with one another under the rug. Maybe that's the issue with our government though, Barry. We need to discuss the real issues rather than kicking the ice cube under the fridge. Fuck's sake. Jill absolutely hates when I kick any ice cubes that fall out under the fridge. Well, Ben, you have your little podcast to bitch and whine about whatever bothers you. But you clearly brought that energy over here. Yep, once again, all my fault. Ugh, come on, Ben. So wait, am I still in this? Who am I up against? Your mom. Well, I'm definitely out of the equation. Well, if you do well here, which you aren't off to a great start, you have a chance if Donald shits the bed. Smells like he already did. What are you talking about? That was Ben. Oh, damn. Looked good, but then you had the, uh... Backspin. Yeah. At least it didn't roll down the hill. Silver lining. Well, my score didn't get better, but it also didn't get worse. Well, that even par won't be enough to beat me. Or me. Joe, you are an absolute long shot to win this match. Or the election. In fact, Nikki Haley has a better chance beating me than you do. Who? Exactly. All the losers in the Democratic Party and even the losers in the Republican Party have no chance at- Oh, so you're one of the Republican Party losers then, right? Yeah, no. But didn't you lose? To me. Nah, he cheated, just like you did. 
Recounts aren't cheating, Donald. Yeah, leave him be. He's just mad his didn't go in his favor. Oh, yeah, you all lost. Easy dub. I want to play Madden. I don't like this game anymore. Joe, would you just finish the hell up so I can have my fucking turn? This is a tough one. Don't overthink it. Finally. Now it's my turn, even though I, I already won. No, you didn't. I'm still in this. Wait, if Donald gets one over par, we tie, right? Yes, you need him to get two over for you to win. Uh, what about for me to win? Uh, you would need everyone to somehow get disqualified. So you're saying there's a chance? I suppose anything can happen. Definitely overshot that. No way in hell. Fuck's sake. Exactly what George needed there. Oh, you're not gonna use your putter? No, I'm not. You know why? Because somebody chose a fucking course with fucking mountains all over each and every hole. All right, I'll admit, the terrain on this one was definitely rough. Not as rough as that putt. Shut up. And that will do it. The significant amount of self-confidence ends up costing Donald the win as he ties with George. Once again, Barry picks a shitty venue to host a sporting event, like he does in every video game we play. Oh, cry about it some more, would you? We all played on it and struggled on it. So I apologize that, that the self-proclaimed golf god struggled with a bunch of guys that actually worked as president rather than hitting bunkers and missing chip shot putts. I worked way harder than any of you ever have or ever will. Haha, <laughs> I bet. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to check out our card channel, Presidential Packs. And leave a like and subscribe. See y'all in two months when people actually want to watch PGA again.